In this video, we'll start the CUDA software Infinite Algebra 1 free worksheet, Finding Slope from Two Points. I'll go ahead and split this up into two separate videos, doing the first page in the first video and the second page in the second video. Our directions are to find the slope of the line through each pair of points. The formula for slope is slope equals the rise over run, which is the change in y over change in x. So that's going to be y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. So you're subtracting the y coordinates and you're subtracting the x coordinates and the change in y is all over the change in x. The main thing to remember is that when doing y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, x2 and y2 come from the same coordinate, and x1 and y1 come from the same coordinate. So it's helpful to start out by labeling. So for number one, I'll say this is x1, and this is y1. So x1 comma y1, and I'll say the second coordinate is x2 comma y2. So when I plug those into the formula, y2 minus y1, my y2 is negative 15 minus my y1, which is negative 16, and that's all over my x2, which was with my y2, so negative 7, minus my x1 of 19. Negative 15 minus a negative 16 is the same as negative 15 plus 16, which is going to give me a positive 1. And negative 7 minus 19 is a negative 26. So the slope for number 1 is negative 1 over 26. And number 2, let's go ahead and set up our x1, y1, x2, y2. So 1 comma negative 19 is x1 comma y1. And negative 2 comma negative 7 is going to be x2 comma y2. Starting with our y2, we're going to do negative 7 minus our other y coordinate, which is negative 19. And that's all over x2, negative 2, minus x1, which is 1. Negative 7 minus a negative 19 is the same as negative 7 plus 19, which will be a positive 12. And that's going to be over negative 2 minus 1, which is a negative 3. That can simplify down into 12 divided by negative 3, which is negative 4. So for number two, the slope using those two coordinates is negative four. And number three, same thing. We're going to have x1, y1, x2, and y2. Our y2 is negative four. So we're going to have negative four minus seven all over x2, negative six, minus x1, negative 4. Negative 4 minus 7 is negative 11, and that's all over. Negative 6 minus a negative 4 is negative 6, plus 4, which is negative 2. A negative divided by a negative is a positive, and this can't be simplified down anymore, so our answer to number 3 is 11 halves. And number 4, 20 will be x1, 8 will be y1, 9 will be x2, and 16 will be y2. y2 minus y1, 16 minus 8, over x2, 9, minus x1, 20. So you can see my 9 and 16 are my x2 and y2, and my 20 and 8, my x1 and y1, are being subtracted from those. So the coordinates will line up vertically in the formula. 16 minus 8 equals 8. 9 minus 20 will equal a negative 11. 
So my answer to number four for the slope is negative eight elevenths. Since eight over negative 11 cannot be simplified down anymore. And number five, we'll do eight minus a negative 13, y2 minus y1, over x2, 17, minus x1 of 17. It doesn't matter what eight minus negative 13 is because 17 minus 17 is zero, and any number over zero is undefined. So our slope in number five is undefined. So if we were to graph this, we would get a vertical line. Number six, x1 and y1, x2 and y2. y2 minus y1 is three minus three, x2 minus x1 is 20 minus 19. Three minus three is zero, and we can stop there because zero divided by any number is zero. So the slope for number six is zero, and that would be a horizontal line when graphed. And number seven, let's start with x2 and y2. So x2 is three, y2 is zero, x1 is negative 11, and y1 is negative 15. So y2 is zero minus a negative 15, which is y1, all over x2, which is three minus x1, which is negative 11. Zero minus negative 15 is a positive 15. Three minus negative 11 is a positive 14. So the answer for number seven is 15 fourteenths. Now let's say if we were to do it the other way, where we did x1, y1, and x2, y2, we're going to get the same thing. y2 minus y1 is negative 15 minus zero. x2 minus x1 is negative 11 minus three. That's going to give us negative 15 over negative 11 minus three a negative 14. A negative divided by a negative is a positive, so you can see we will get 15 fourteenths. It doesn't matter which coordinates have the subscript of one or have a subscript of two. As long as you are subtracting in the correct order, it doesn't matter which point or which coordinate you start with first. So C, zero and three line up on the left here, and zero and three line up on the right here. Same with negative 11 and negative 15. Let's move on to number eight. This will be the last problem that I'll do in this video and we'll finish out the worksheet in the next one. Before we do the answer to this, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Y2 minus Y1 is going to be 10 minus negative two x2 minus x1 is going to be negative 11 minus 19. 10 minus a negative 2 is 10 plus 2, which is a positive 12. Negative 11 minus 19 is going further into the negatives, so that's going to be a negative 30. We can simplify this if we divide both the numerator and denominator by 6, will be 2 over negative 5. So the answer for number eight is negative two fifths. If you have any questions or remarks, comment below.